you guys welcome to my channel my name is Karina and today we're gonna be redoing an armchair that I got on Craigslist for free I'm super excited I usually check the free section on Craigslist and they usually have kittens on there which I really 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 want a cat and I will get one probably later this year. But a couple of weeks ago, I saw two chairs. I emailed the people that posted and one of the chairs is this one. And I'll tell you what, I woke up at 8 a.m. on my day off to go get this chair and the lady put it on the curb and before I got there, somebody picked it up. And I had this awesome idea, which again, I'm gonna put right here on what to do with it and I, was so sad but you know it wasn't meant to be mine and i still want to do that project hopefully i will find a chair like that soon in the meantime i did find this chair for free and i did go pick it up the day that i went to pick it up was very very rainy and the guy was like oh wait a few more hours wait a few more hours it's super rainy so finally in the evening i went and i picked it up and it stunk the inspiration that i had for the video was $1,900 $995 that is unbelievable I don't I don't I can't believe that people pay that much for an armchair but they do apparently my chair cost $97 without counting some of the tools that I already have. I did include the tools to remove the thumbtacks and the staples in there because I didn't have that. I tell you what, they are life-changing. First thing I did was clean it up. I used warm water and detergent in a thing that we call ligan in Romania. I don't know why I couldn't find one here. I just found like bigger bowls. So my parents did bring me this from Romania, but it is the most useful thing to have around the house. Like you can hand wash clothes in them. You can do many things. So yeah, it's called a ligan. If you're gonna learn today, um, I don't even allowed to say that, I don't know. But anyways, you did learn a new word today. So next thing I did was remove the thumbtacks and the staples. You could most definitely use a flat screwdriver for it, but I would not recommend it. Even with the staple removal uh, tools, there were two of them, it was like 10 or $11. I will post them in the description below. It was hard and I did scratch my fingers many times. I guess you could be using gloves. I didn't cause I just like to feel what I do. But yeah, I definitely recommend getting the tools and this took probably eight or nine hours. Day two was just more of taking thumbtacks and staples off. I didn't have the patience to do it all in one day, but I would like for you to comment down below and tell me what TV show do you think I was watching while I was doing this project. I'm not exactly sure what happened with the footage, but once I took all the fabric off the chair, I just put it on top of my fabric. I outlined it with a marker and then I cut the fabric because I wanted to get it out of my house because that thing stunk. thing that I would change is the foam that I bought for the seat. I really wanted it to be comfy and instead of getting the two inch one, I got the four inch one. I think it's very comfy. I'm actually sitting in it right now, but it was very hard to work with because it was so tall and I didn't cut the fabric wide enough. So I had to like keep cutting the sponge or padding and then keeping it very taut while I was stapling it. I did the same thing with the padding that I did with the fabric. I just put the old padding on top and I just cut the shape out. I did have to cut it with scissors. I tried with a knife. It wasn't, I guess, sharp enough, but with the scissors, I got it. It did take forever. I light sanded the chair to prep it for the paint. I did two coats of the primer paint that I have that was from the different project with the tabletop that I'm gonna put right here. I didn't wanna have any streak marks, or like paintbrush streak marks, paintbrush marks on the chair so i did two coats of the white and then i did one coat of the ivory spray paint that i'm going to put in the description below 
but sometimes go to Walmart in the fabric section and they have those pieces of fabric that are like two or four dollars so I just put it on top of the springs because they were a little bit rusted now put the padding on top then cut it a little bit on the edges so it would be nice and thawed I stapled the material on opposite sides starting at the middle or starting at the edges depending on the shape of the chair okay I wasn't sure if I was gonna include this in the video but at some point I did think that the padding was way too thick so I tried to sit on it to flatten it out a little bit and this is what this video is showing I think it's hilarious so I just left it there for you The armrest probably took the longest because they have very little fabric, especially on the sides, and they have very weird shapes, but just staple under and then put a piece of fabric over that. for the bottom I wanted it to look a little bit more professional so I used the same type of fabric that I had used over the springs just to keep everything closed under the seat so I went to Walmart for thumbtacks and they were like 25 for like 169 I looked on Amazon and I found the ones that I'm gonna post in the description but they were bronze they had black ones but they were much more expensive so I decided to go with the bronze ones and I did buy $1 spray paint and I painted them black because that is the inspiration that I had for this project and also I thought it was gonna look much better day five was a colossal waste of time I do like the thumbtacks they're upholstery thumbtacks but all of them were bending I tried separating them a little bit and some I tried to, to turn around so they would look even it looked so much as a DIY project and so much like an amateur did it that I had to think of something else I am super exhausted. My living room, dining room, com living room, dining room combination is a mess. Um, I want to finish this project because I want to start the next one. I'm also super excited about this chair. So we're going to be finishing it up. Um, I think I already mentioned that I work today and it is not nine o'clock yet. So I feel comfortable um, knocking some nails, hammering some nails. I don't know what the expression is but anyways we're gonna be doing that right now so I can finish it all the thumbtacks what was happening they were all bending I used this to cut them and now it's only a little, a little bit on there and I glued them on and then I hammered them just to keep them in place this is what happens they're much more even in a line and this is what was happening before because most of them were just bending I was so tired that day I could barely see hence why I burned my finger with glue and I still have a blister you see it Yep. You should put the glue on the fabric and then put the thumbtack on top. Another thing that I did was use a piece of paper with my spray paint and then I just sprayed some of the paint on the paper and then with a small painting brush touched up wherever I scratched the wood or wherever the hammer scratched the thumbtacks to finish it up. Well, this was it, you guys. This project took my living slash dining room for over a week. I'm happy to put everything together or maybe I'm just gonna start my next project because I did have all the parts from Amazon come in. So I am super excited for my future project too. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to get little snippets of what my next project will be. Oh yeah, also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you would like to see next. In the meantime, here is the end result.
usually watch watch I usually check for an armchair um, for an, an arm for an armchair not scissors what are they called screwdriver I looked up I did the same thing with the paddock that so I light sanded it a, a little, little bit I light sand it a little bit an opposite like on the middle on each side opposite holding it very thought that does that make sense I don't know if my wood was too hard 